Hello and welcome to another episode of Mitsubishi Mastered. I'm your host, Tim Heider, Product Marketing Manager for Solutions. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, taking the project that we had created in the previous video, uh, simulating the project without any physical hardware, and then downloading that to the PLC. Let's begin. Now, before I write this logic down to the PLC, I can do a simulation. So included with GXWorks 3 for free, along with all of the IEC languages for free, we also get a full simulation uh, solution. So I can come up here to debug and simulation and start simulation. What that will do is create uh, a virtual PLC on my laptop and write down that logic. And now we can see we have a green power light and a green program run light. And everything in the program is set to run. Now, I can force these bits to turn on. So if I right click on M0, I can go to a watch window, which opens up down here. And I can see my M0. I can click on that. I can start watching that down here. And it currently is in a false state. So if I say on, now it's in a true state. And now my Y0 is on. Nothing happened on the PLC yet because we haven't wrote anything to the PLC. Um, so this is an easy way to quickly see, do we have the correct logic and simulation before we would ever write to the PLC? So let's go ahead and write this down to the PLC. Let's stop our simulation. From the navigation tree, we want to select connection destination. If you don't see connection destination, you can find this up here. Under view, docking window, and connection destination. Double click on that, and we have a couple options here. We're going to plug Ethernet directly to the front port, and we haven't set an IP address. It comes with a default IP address, but if you didn't know what it was, one of the nice things is we can just do a direct connection. So no matter what IP address is on your laptop, and no matter what is programmed in the PLC, it will automatically make the connection. So we'll say direct coupled, and we can choose our adapter if we had a specific Ethernet NIC that we wanted to use. Um, or we can just hit communication test and it will try them all. So in this case, it has success to the FX5U. We say OK and OK. Now we know that the project file has uh, success connection. Now we just need to download. So if we wanted to do that, we can click here on Write to PLC. And an, a quick method is to do parameter and program. That's the bare minimum just to get something running. Um, that will, will not include any of your comments though. So if you wanted to include your comment files, you would have to select them down in the tree here. But just to get something running, we can do parameter programs and click execute. And now that's gonna write the program down. And all we have to do now is reset the PLC. So close out of this and open up the door and slide this button back until it resets. We get the flashing air light. And then we go forward with it into run mode. So now we have the green power light and the green program run. And now what we can do, we can go back into our program. And as long as we're watching, um, we're connected up to the host down here where it says host. It's a direct connection. Uh, we can click on M0 and turn that on. And now that that's on, we can check our PLC light. And we can see that, sure enough, we have a green Oh, LED on the Y0. Let me go ahead and turn that off. So I'll hit off. And that LED went off. So you can see how easy it is to open up the PLC, get power on, start your GXWorks 3 program, write a basic program, simulate it first, and then dump that program. And that concludes uh, the video. Thanks again for watching another episode of Mitsubishi Electric Automation Mastered where we show how quick and easy it is to become a master of Mitsubishi Electric Industrial Controls. Thanks and have a great day.